is an all-male loose lounge today. He's a triple threat. He can sing, dance and act. Here to talk Eurovision, it's EastEnders Christian, actor John Partridge. <laughs> time again before uh, we ask should men give up paying women compliments any thoughts on this boys well you all look lovely that's oh. all i've got to say on the subject simon yeah, I think they look like no, absolutely right. amazing <laughs> I, I, i'm down for it i'm down for you're it. down for whatever i'm down for it we're not down for it do you know you'll be all right boys we'll let you on we'll be back in a bit see you in a minute <laughs> Welcome back to Wednesday's Lucy. It's still to come. He knows Roxy's secret, but will she listen to him? EastEnders Christian is here to uh, fill us in on all the drama. That's actor John Partridge. <laughs> um, when our final guest landed a plum role in EastEnders after a career spanning 20 years in the musical theatre, it was a bolt from the blue and something he never thought he would be doing four years later. However, his character has become almost as important to Walford as the Queen Vic. Christian has helped to break both religious and gay stereotypes and become the gay best friend we would all love to have. There's a promotion on down a minute, Mark. Two for the price of one. Looked at it and I instantly thought of you. <laughs> now I've seen you there, I don't know whether two bars is going to be enough. Well, we both know how it works, don't we? One bar, that's for when you're in pain. Two bars, when you're in agony. But this is a married man we're talking about, Rox. I know. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I would. That's why I've got three and four. <laughs> Thank you. Please welcome John Partridge. <laughs> I've just got to say, actually, first, Lucien, you are busted. I'm sat in the green room and he's going, you know, I own the shirt myself. And his mum's like, you never did it. It was Susan <laughs> that did it. So I'm here to tell you, yes, he didn't it. do it. His oh. mum said he didn't do it. You are cheeky. I know. <laughs> anyway, ladies, how are you? You're all looking good. lovely. Compliments oh, are plenty good. here. Compliments like, are plenty you're here. You're good at accepting compliments, because the first thing we said when you sat down was, you smell nice. Oh, wow. yes. I made the effort, you see. Yeah, Definitely you made do. the effort. Are you good at you change your bed as well, don't you? All the time. I'm twice a week. Oh, yeah. oh, twice I'm week. twice yeah, a about, week. What about your bed? <laughs> <laughs> She's too much, isn't she? She's terrible, this one. Absolutely terrible. Sorry. I like the smell of clean sheets. Yes. It, um, I was going to say yeah. it gets me off, but then I thought, no, no. that's the wrong thing to say. Yeah. But it does help me to yeah. get to sleep. It does. You have a better I'm... night's sleep in clean beds. Yeah, that's yeah. why I never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's not that so bad. So twice a week, you like clean freshies? Yeah, twice a week. And I, as soon as I get up in the morning, I make my bed. But I am a boarding school boy, and I think that's oh, what yes. you had to do. If you didn't do that when you got up, you Do you iron your in. sheets? I iron my sheets. I don't iron my undersheet. No. I'm not that okay. bad. Because nobody but sees I that. But I do, yeah, and I'm yeah, quite... Yeah, you can stretch them and yeah. tuck them. Yeah, mine are the yeah, stretch tight. Yeah, stretch Yeah. That's what it's called. And I, I, I like the ironing as well. It's I have to say, I love the ironing. Telly on, do the ironing. John, is he the same? Yeah. Yeah. The well, success lucky, to a happy it? marriage oh, might yeah, be... See. Yeah, Two men that love All this opposites attract thing, I don't believe yeah. it. You've got no, to you be... No, couldn't be with a slob. No. no. So, anyway, get, getting back to anyway, lovely yes. Christian. Yes. Now, he, his, things have quieted down a little bit for him recently. Yeah. Are you quite glad? Because it's been quite tumultuous. I think it's good to rest the character now and then, because on a continual drama or soap, whatever you want to call it, people do get sick of seeing you four nights a week, and then yeah. they sort of, like, don't want to listen to your story anymore. So I think when you've had a really big story, you know, like my... Mark and I have both had. I think yeah. it's good to take a little bit of downtime, yeah. to step away from that, Definitely. and to the audience, because they do, they do get fed up of seeing you. But that being said, we have had a rest, and uh, we will be coming back <gasps> with um, something in the coming months. With a bit months. of trouble ah. brewing. Yeah. Trust me, John, no one gets tired of seeing you, especially <laughs> as you're always running around the square with your shirt on. <laughs> well, um, you know, <laughs> or a little what, vest on. What, what can I say? <laughs> yeah. You've got to keep the viewers, you've got to give them what they want, haven't we, ladies? Yeah. You've got to give you what they want. <laughs> Now, aren't you? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm there for the foreseeable future, yes. And as I say, we do have um, a new story coming. Yeah. And, um, with you all and Saeed. That, well, are you pleased with how the story's worked out? Because obviously, for a while, it, it could have gone either way, but it's worked out really well. You know, I'm really pleased with how.
how the story told out. You know, you've got to remember, it is really, really, really hard to tell a gay story at 7.30 in the evening, yeah. you know, 7.30, mm. 8 o'clock. It just is. And I think the beautiful thing about our story was it was about what you didn't see as opposed to what you did see. You know, we were very careful not to alienate the audience before we had time to mm. tell the story we wanted to tell. And that is really, really hard. And then on the other hand, you do get people saying, well, we want to see uh, Christian Saeed, uh, you know, kissing more or sharing more moments that you would maybe see with other sorts of couples. But, you know, the nature of the story, it is just not always that sure. easy to tell that type of story. So I think within the parameters of what we had, you know, the writers, the directors, the BBC. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think it was very truthful. Yeah. And it was about what you... It invited the audience in. So yeah. we didn't, you know, put anybody off, you know, mm. before it started. And through the whole of that story, we only had 100 complaints. Now, right. I think you'll all know, you know, sometimes you can have a story at EastEnders and you can yeah, just thousands. get thousands yeah. and thousands yeah. and thousands yeah. of complaints. So I think 100... You think you've done all right? I can live with that. I live with 100 people saying we didn't really like that. But do we like it, ladies? Yeah. 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 Well, well, what, what, what a lot of, people. What a lot no, of people... all the time. No. Maybe, maybe don't know necessarily about you because you know you have become such a household name through EastEnders is your your West End theatrical I credentials. I am a West End Wendy. <laughs> which, West so, End Wendy. Yeah, yeah that, that's what we call it in the trade. Um, but I am hosting something on Thursday night uh, for Theatre Mad which is the Make a Difference Trust and it is the West End Eurovision 2012. Now come on we all love a bit of Eurovision oh, don't we? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah we do here. Yeah. So, How so does it fit with West End? I don't get that. Well it's the West End so we have ten West End shows competing. Right. Now these shows are I did write a little list because if I forgot one, I'd get murdered. So we've got Mamma Mia, Sweeney Todd, and of course, in the cast of Sweeney Todd, we do have a former Eurovision winner, Michael Bolton. Michael oh, yes. Is he, is he, is he, is he, is he appearing? I could not say. <laughs> Rock of Ages, uh, 39 Steps, Shrek, Les Mis, Phantom, Wicked, Wizard of Oz, Billy Elliot. So they're the shows that are competing. Now, what they do is they take a former winning song yeah. uh -huh. uh, out of the vast catalogue from Eurovision and they come on to perform that number with full <gasps> choreography, costumes, oh. pyros, you name it. And these guys, they work on these, uh, these numbers for months in advance. And do you like, like is... making your mind up? <laughs> Like there you that. go. I mean, I was hoping I was going to get to do that because I'm yeah. hosting with Gabby Roslin. I was hoping we were ah, going to get there. With the skirt And how about the voting? How does So the voting takes work? place. The audience are there and they can vote by text. We also have a panel of celebrity judges. This year we have Hollywood royalty, Stephanie Powers. We also Ooh. have got Tony Blackburn, who I oh, love. Lovely. And we've got West End star Kerry Ellis. Now, they also okay. give their opinions and, yeah. they, and they vote too. Also, the cast themselves... I know, it's a lot, isn't it? It's like Eurovision. You've lost your... <laughs> <laughs> the cast themselves also provide two cast members who act as judges, and they also judge each of the shows. Now, all these... Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so, basically, this is a, this is a one-off in the, in the one Dominion Theatre on Thursday the 26th. Dominion Theatre. So there tomorrow. are still tickets available. You can go yeah. to the Loose Women website and follow the links. Uh, please, if you can support this trust, uh, yeah. Theatre Mad obviously raises funds to and help people living fantastic. with HIV and AIDS. Yeah. And if, they, if you haven't booked a ticket yet, please go book a ticket. It is a sensational night, and I You've promise you, you will You've done a great service. It's John Partridge, everywhere. Well done. Right, that's all we've got time for today. We will see you tomorrow. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye.